News 4 update powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Thank you for joining us for this News 4 update. I'm Claire Kellett. Today you can help raise money for Central VPA High School in South St. Louis City. Two McDonald's locations will be donating a portion of their sales to the school. It comes just three weeks after a gunman killed a student and a teacher. The participating locations are on Natural Bridge and on South Kings Highway. All proceeds between 4 and 8 on Tuesday night will go towards supporting the families and the school community. Tonight we may learn more about what is next for students at Jana Elementary School. Students have been off campus because of new testing showing concerning levels of radiation at the fluorescent school. Meanwhile, the Army Corps of Engineers has been doing their own testing showing radiation levels are safe. The school board meets tonight to go over that new data. Today another drive through testing site opens in St. Louis County. They'll be testing for the flu, RSV and COVID all in one spot. Testing will take place on Tuesdays from 8 in the morning to 4 at the John C. Murphy Health Center in Berkeley. Again, that starts today. Testing will also be held Thursdays at the South County Health Center, also from 8 to 4. The testing comes as our area is seeing a sharp increase in case numbers, especially for RSV. For a check on the forecast now, we send things to meteorologist Kent Derhart. Wet snow fell this morning, as you probably know, and we saw as much as a little over 4 inches in Girard. Uh, Gerald rather in uh, Gasconade County, three inches in Union, two and a half in Sullivan and some of our Illinois counties not picking up quite as much snowfall. It was a wet snow and it's melting as temperatures make it up to about 40 today under cloudy skies. We can even see uh, as we get into this evening the clouds giving way, maybe a few flakes off to the north, but no measurable snow anticipated. It looks very encouraging as we get into the overnight hours as these clouds. This is cloud cover, by the way, not snow. Uh, try to clear out, but unfortunately, it looks like we have considerable cloudiness during the day tomorrow. It's going to be a little breezy too, so and breezy for a few days. 36 the high on Wednesday, 40 on Thursday. Turns colder on Friday, though. We don't expect any snow or precip out of this system as it moves in, but it does chill us down for Friday and the weekend. Mid to upper 30s over the weekend, 47 on Monday, 50 on Tuesday of next week.